Carnivorous plants feed on insects and other small animals in addition to producing food in their leaves by photosynthesis. Carnivorous plants live at least part of time of nutrition they ingest from insects they lure and devour. Carnivorous plants live in areas poor in nutrients or sunshine get energy in other way. The nutrients absorbed from trapped insects enable carnivorous plants to thrive in acid boggy soils that lacks essential nutrients, especially nitrates, where most other plants could not survive. These carnivores are more specifically insectivores and they often live in bogs and swamps. One of more than 600 known insectivorous plants, the Venus flytrap. All carnivorous plants have some leaves modified as traps. Many use bright colors and scented nectar to attract prey and most use enzymes to digest the prey. The Venus flytrap is common to swamps in North and South Carolina. The plant's hinged leaves form traps that snap shut on insects alighting there. Trigger hairs on the inside of leaves senses the presence of the insect. The insect must touch the hairs more than once for the trap to close. That way, the plant doesn't react to a single touch, which might be from an inanimate object such as windblown leaf. Once the fly trap has captured the prey, fluids inside the leaves dissolve the insect into a nourishing liquid that the plant absorbs. It takes around 10 days for a fly trap to reopen after a meal. Other insectivores include pitcher plants and sundews. The pitcher plant traps and drones insects in a cup-like cavity of liquid and then dissolves them. The stalks of sundews are covered with super sticky glistening drops of liquid that attracts insects. The sticky surface traps the insects and then leaves bend around it to start the digestion process. There are three types of traps. Pitcher plants such as the monkey cup and cobra lily have leaves modified as pitcher shaped peatfall traps half filled with water. Once slurred inside the mouth of the trap, insects lose their footings on the sepally surface, fall into the liquid and either decompose or are digested. Venus flytrap use a spring trap mechanism when an insect touches trigger hairs on the inner surface of the hair, two lobes of the trap snap shut. Butterwort and sundews entangle prey by a streaky droplet on the leaf surface while the edges of the leaves slowly curl over to envelop and digest the prey. Even visit to our description box, like, share and subscribe to our channel Tutelage by Magic for such new knowledgeful videos.